If you're into that 80s vibe, you can check out the Club Vector clothing range. Link for that is down below, as is the link for U7 Buy. Cut out the nonsense of FIFA points and the random gamble, and just go straight to the source. Use the code TVM at checkout. What is going on, guys? TVM here. Welcome back to another 6 o'clock content drop. I've just seen the two players we've been given via the SBC in the section at the bottom. So the uh, the mystique has been taken out of it. Thanks EA for your advertisement. I'm already on the game. You don't need to advertise it. I've sold something apparently. Let's go have a look at those uh, uh, SBCs. Which is objectives then. SBCs and see if they're the same price. So we should in theory be given um, a pack as well. So we hey, a mega pack. That's not bad. So we'll, we'll do that. Let's, let's just see what these cards are all about then. Uh, Malquit actually a very useful card in FIFA. It's a shame. I say it's a shame. Up until now, um, he's not really been that useful in terms of uh, like stats and things. So to get a boosted version is actually really good. Three star, three star, high medium. This is just a loan, but of course it's the same card. Composure, still a little bit on the low side, but now an updated version to link in the likes of Manolas, of course, into Allen and... All the rest of it is a few special versions of Mertin, so that's not bad. Uh, I would again, I would expect an 84 80 team with an inform max, and even then, I think that's too expensive. Uh, Luca Bacchio, I used this guy's base card for what is he? Four, for, yeah, four star, four star, medium, low, left footed. I used his base card for a while at the very beginning of uh, FIFA 20, and obviously became outdated very quickly. Now that he has this uh, this footmas card, though. Again, it's not going to be one of those that everyone rushes out to get into their Bundesliga team because he's going to be in the next weekend league side or anything. But it's just, you know, if you're a fan of the club, fan of the player, or you have a team that you might want like a first owner striker for, he's not bad at all. He's very pacey. He's got some decent agility. Could improve that as well. Nice nice uh, dribbling. And his uh, ball control is okay. His finishing is good. It's not a bad card at all. Four-star, four-star. Now, price-wise... And I will complete one of these. I'm not quite sure which one, but I will complete one of them. What? H hang on a minute. That that has to be a mistake. There is absolutely no way anyone in their right mind gives two 84 rated teams and an 85 with bad packs for the, what are they do what they do this all the time with footmas how is that that's not i mean that card isn't a i'm sorry i don't care i don't care what anyone says that card is not worth 284s and an 85 yeah he's got pace he's got decent finishing but his passing is not that great at all his composure is 80 that's not great his balance is only 78 he doesn't have any aggression whatsoever. He's not good at jumping. He can't head the ball. Um, his his reactions are on the lower side of of, of good. I, I it, it's it's all right. I'm not I'm not saying it's a bad card. We've just been going through it saying yeah, it's decent for first owner and stuff, but it's not what they, that price. That's that's horrendous. Uh, this one I'm now worried. 84 and in inform I thought would be a little bit too much. <clears throat> what? I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm not doing that. That's that's horrendous. An 86 rated team. I just went through it and I said that it's a decent card, right? But composure and reactions are too low. The stamina, right? It's okay, but if you've got overlap or join the attack on your fullbacks, he's going to be dead by half time. I I use fullbacks and they need 90 stamina at least. Uh, otherwise, they're conked out at the end, especially if you're under pressure and you're counter-attacking a lot. You use a lot, right? So going forward, if you get in front of goal, forget about it. You've got no chance. Um, ball control, 82. It's okay. You know, it's not bad for an 84. But an 86-rated team, I'd love to know. I would love to know the price of, of these SBCs. I would imagine it would take a little bit longer than what we've been given. Um... That's crazy, absolutely crazy, that they've that they can. I well, I, I can't get over that. I can't see anyone who's uh, said anything just yet. Let me go and have a look at the comments. So under Luca Bacchio, uh, those requirements are a joke. Rip Footmas, 84, 85, and an eighty-four. 
what the are you serious lmfao yeah nobody is happy about this where's sissoko okay uh, out outrageous requirements yeah nobody is happy about that at all nobody is happy is anybody happy about mal malquit mal malquit malquit um Yeah, many people are, are unhappy that they've not given a French footmas card because obviously Sissoko is French. They've not given it to him and there are 12 nations. Now, that is something I hadn't even considered, if I'm honest. Many people are um, many people are unhappy about the fact that it's not Sissoko, not necessarily about the requirements of that. Um but yeah, Luca Bacchio is horrendous. I, I don't think an 86 rated team for this card is is good either. I think that's bad. You know, it, it's it's useful for links. It's not a terrible card. It's not an 86 rated card at all. Let me, before I go and complete that 35k pack, let me go see if there's any objectives. I'm guessing there's not because I've not seen a tweet or anything. There are meant to be six uh, player objectives uh, for Footmas cards according to the website, uh, according to EA's site. Uh, first of which, of course, was Gabarmin. I would imagine that there would be one every other day if there's 12 days of Christmas. That would make sense, right? Uh, but obviously, we've not been given anything today. No new milestones either, unfortunately. And I'm guessing they didn't drop a league either, which would not really have made that... Yeah, they wouldn't have made much sense if they had dropped a league. So, the content we've been given then is, I mean, pff, questionable. Is the loan the same, though? Can you just get these for, for bronze players? Well... They've upped it a little bit, I'm pretty sure, because it was a, an overall team rating of 55. It's now 60. I'm pretty sure it was 55 on both of the cards yesterday, and it's 60 on both today. So maybe I'm wrong in saying that, but they've upped that slightly, I think. But the prices on those, man, that is that is crazy. Um, let's see. I mean, I'm a bit nervous now to see what this is. I thought maybe a free pack, you know, like a just all gold cards, maybe a 78 rated team max. I'm nervous now. 77. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. That took me a lot longer than I would care to admit, but finally it is done. Uh, we've we've completed it. 96 chemistry and a 79 rating. I've gone way overboard on the rating, to be fair. I'm just glad it's done. Uh, that, was, that was a lot more stressful than I wanted it to be. I'm still outraged by the, by the fact that those SBCs are just far too expensive. If anybody does them... You need your head testing, honestly. Even if he fits perfectly into your team, it doesn't matter which one you decide to do. They are both just ridiculous. Uh, an 86 rated team. Let me see if finally, after nearly 20 minutes since this SBC has been released. So this this card, this Malquick card is coming in at around 125,000 coins. It might drop down in price, but no, no less than a... What, 115? That's got to be the bare minimum. So 115 to 125,000 coins for that card. Are you drunk? Who in their right mind is going to pay that? But that's not even the most laughable thing. The most laughable thing is Luca Bacchio, who, for an 84, looks good. But for 165,000? I don't think so. I mean, that's shocking. <laughs> That is shocking. And it's it's typical EA as well, because last year they did exactly the same thing. And the year before that, they did exactly the same thing. There was a Marcus Rashford one year. I think he was like 83, 84 rated. And he was, I mean, he was coming in at right, like, what, 200 and something thousand coins. And it, the card was decent, but it wasn't it wasn't anything more than a the sort of 80,000 coin player. But And yet, and even that would have been too much. And yet EA just out overpriced it. Tomorrow, mark my words, tomorrow they will give the cards away. They will be 83 rated team with no inform and another one will be like an 82 rated team with an inform. They, they'll give them away. They do this every few days. They will drop two unbelievably overpriced SBCs in hope that someone is just desperate and wants to do an SBC and will waste a lot of their coins and players. I refuse to do this you cannot justify it to me in the slightest they are so overpriced it is unbelievable that um that mega pack that we just did 
Uh, that isn't overpriced. I am gonna. I, it's. I know it sounds stupid. I'm gonna open a bronze pack. It's not because of any superstition. It's because I'm afraid it's gonna lag when the doors open. Because I've rendered like twelve. Yeah, there we go. I've rendered like twelve videos today, and it hates it. Something to do with DirectX. It's not my PC necessarily. It's DirectX or whatever. Because I do play on PC. Uh, let's uh, discard the JD kit, and uh, we can now open the 35k pack. I mean, let's be honest, we're not getting a board out of this with the way that I've just slagged EA off. They have microphones everywhere, they are listening. Uh, oh, we do get a board, maybe they do like me. Do they like me enough to give me a blue? No, it's not a walkout either. Be a French centre-back, it's Brazilian centre-back. Well, I got half of it right, it's going to be Miranda. Not great, although we do get to see the snow, so there's that. Um, I mean, answers on a postcard, or more of a modern day thing. Answers down below... We get Nelson Semedo in there. I don't think he's worth as much as he was. Ah, that's not too bad, actually. Yes, he is. I'm going to sell him for about 10k if I can get it. That's not too bad. So we've got more back for that than what we paid for the SBC, which is uh, not too bad at all. Definitely take that. Have we got... Oh, we've got a, a pack in there. Go on, be a 25k pack. Loan pack. Of course it is. It's never a 25k pack, is it? Uh, that ball looked relatively new as well. He might sell for something now because he's from a... Um, yeah, different nation from a, from a certain league. So we might get away with maybe getting 850 for him. We'll discard Hutchinson and just put the rest in the club. But um, let me know what you think of that. Uh, those two sets of SBCs down below. I bet they've given us some sexy promo packs, though, haven't they? Yeah, 100k packs have been restored for three hours. They, I, I would imagine every three hours they'll refresh those as well so that you have one to open. I would open one, but they've annoyed me so much today that I'm not giving them anything. Tomorrow is a different day. And uh, if we get some decent SBCs, I'd be more inclined to open a pack. But yesterday, they gave us an 86-rated Axel Witzel for an 84-rated team in an inform. That was 60,000 coins. He is more usable than either of those, in my opinion, or at least of the same level. There's no way they are higher than him. And it's the same with that um, Moses... Is it Moses Simone? Um, he was... He had a massive upgrade, and he was semi-usable. Well, very usable. And he was only, like, 50, 60k. These are in the hundreds of thousands of coins, and they are not worth it. Let me know what you think of them in the comments section down below. Hopefully tomorrow we get some better content. If you have enjoyed that, for whatever reason, that little moan, little rant, do me a favor and hit that like button. It really does help me out a lot. Subscribe to the champion, of course, and until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.